Let's play this one. Hello. Hello. How you going? Good. How are you going? Very good. Thank you. Okay, good. Sure. I played the How you I played the thing twice. Oh look, an echoey. There we go. The intro. I like the intro. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I played it twice <laughs> by accident. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. That's fine. Yeah. That's an yeah. indication of how this is gonna go. <laughs> it's gonna go fine. It's gonna go fine. Oh, there's my pen. Getting all my deep all my yeah, things. Look. I looked at the timer and it said one minute and I was like, oh, damn it. I didn't get my coffee yet. Oh, well. <laughs> Go get one. Go get one while people come in if you want. Okay, I'll do that. And you can uh, greet anyone oh, okay. who comes in or whatever. I will. I'll all right, I'll be right that. back. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Cassandra's life in Albuquerque. Welcome. Um, G'day. Hope you're having a wonderful Friday night. I'm guessing it's Friday night for you. <clears throat> so Christy's just gone to get a coffee. Nightbot is doing its thing in the chat. And we're going to do another murder based, sorry, movie based murder today. But I won't say too much because Chrissy's not here yet. She's just getting a coffee. Did you knock yourself off? I did. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I went to mute my mic because I was going to cough mm -hmm. and then I accidentally just booted myself. <laughs> See, it's going to go swimmingly. <laughs> yep, it's going to go amazing. Yeah, so. Amazing. Yeah. So you got your coffee? I have my coffee. Great. I am I'm not rich. touching my phone now. I'm not going to mute myself. 
I was typing in the chat actually, I and I thought that. last week you said you could hear me typing, so I went, I'll just mute myself for a second, and I pressed the wrong button. Silly <laughs> me. Alert. <laughs> you sure I should be able to bring yourself back up on panel and all that stuff because you're yeah. on the stream yard number. Yeah, yeah. But what I did this time is I just did the link that you sent me oh, instead okay. of jumping into the stream yard thing. Yeah, I should be able to. That sounds so good. Right? Funny. Yeah. Did you boot yourself and you can bring yourself back up? <laughs> yeah, I was like, um, she can bring herself back up. <laughs> yeah, see, oh, well. boomering even more. Such yeah. a boomer. Right, right. <laughs> so, I didn't share this out or anything, so. Okay. Well, I can't because mm -hmm. I'm up here on my phone. So, not that I don't want to. Um, what was I going to say to you? The only thing I said, um, when you were gone yeah. was that um we're continuing on the, the i said movie but i meant like murder and movie thing and i said that's all i'm gonna say yeah so yeah, yeah. that's all i said yeah it seems like every time i go to look for a case or something for us to talk about um that's what comes up is right murder one so i'm like well might as well you know <laughs> So maybe but, next week we'll we found it. Who knows? Yeah, maybe we'll look at an interrogation or something, or because that's yeah. always fun to watch. But um, yeah, but we say. can't play them kind of videos so. though. Not even if we pause and comment. Mm. Maybe. maybe we just have to. <laughs> we just have to pause it off a lot. Yeah. Um. Or the way my Wi-Fi sometimes goes, <laughs> it yeah. does it itself. <laughs> but um, but 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 hey, we've uh, we've left Australia behind and we've left America, right? Mm -hmm. We're in a different country today. We are. We're in a totally different country. We're in Gareth's country, and he's probably asleep in bed. <laughs> he probably is. Yeah, or he would have been here already if he wasn't. Yeah, he's such a trooper when he does make it here. It really is. I'm just sharing the stream out real quick. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, because it's normally like five o'clock in the morning or something for him. Yeah, I'm sure he's sleeping. Plus, it's Easter weekend, so I don't expect a lot of traffic. Yeah, do you guys do Good Friday? It's Good Friday for you, right? Um, yes, it yeah. is. Oh. Yep. Two more no. hours to go. <laughs> <laughs> no meat today. No meat. Mm -hmm. Yes. I had a piece of cheese pizza. <laughs> All right. I have mm -hmm. salmon, some salmon. Yep. For dinner. Have fish. Yep. Yeah. Someday you were doing it. I'm going to put ham steaks on the grill. Ham steaks? Mm hmm. Yum. We could yeah. turn this into a food stream. Ha! Huh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Who's here to see true crime? <laughs> we got food. What the hell? Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. So, tonight's episode. Mm -hmm. It's our fourth one, by the way, isn't it? Uh, is it? I think so. Third? Yay. Four. I'm sure it's fourth. We did Camarelli, Evans. Who was the first one? We did two. Uh, we did the uh, Melbourne guy first, so we did two Auss two Aussie ones. Oh, oh, the um, the um, masked guy. Yes, Mr. Cruel. Mr. Cruel, that's it. Yeah, yep. you're right. Yeah. Okay, so tonight is Daniel Gonzalez, also known mm -hmm. as Zippy, also known mm. as the Freddy Krueger killer. As you can guess, he had a fascination with Night Nightmare on Elm Street. He did. He loved it, sat in front of the TV and watched it on hours on end. His mother was not happy. His no, she was very was, concerned about him. Yeah, well, Daniel had a lot of psychological problems. Um, schizophrenia, bipolar, all kinds of things. 
and she couldn't yes. get help for him. She tried. She tried getting him help. Mm -hmm. She ended up even having to write the um, parliament. Parliament. Yeah, and in her letter, she said, what does my son have to do, kill someone to get help? <laughs> yeah, she was very desperate to yeah. help him. Mm -hmm. And he was only diagnosed with his paranoid schizophrenia officially when he was 19. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Yep. Took him that long. I think it was, I thought it was 17. He just started Stephen care. 17. Because mm. by, by 24, he was unemployed and already into drugs and you know, didn't go out much, stayed in the house. Yeah. yeah, yeah he was of, very much a loner. Yeah, he was pretty much a loner, but and then he started hearing voices and Freddy Krueger was talking to him. He kept hearing Daniel. Daniel. Isn't that crazy? Oh mm -hmm. my God. Imagine being in that mental space, like not having the ability to cope with it. Like, yeah. He never had a girlfriend, just lived with his mom. Like, yeah. He was very, and very he, isolated. His parents were uh, divorced since he was six, so he didn't even have a father figure. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah, he spent all of his time playing computer games and watching Nightmare on Elm Street and uh, Halloween, not Halloween, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Yeah, yeah, Friday 13th, yeah. Yeah. He's so. picked some pretty crazy people to try to emulate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't they all? <laughs> <laughs> right? And it's just movies. Like I said, mm -hmm. I like sometimes I'll just make a comment, like when we've been reviewing these cases, and because this was back in 2004, right? Yes. And I keep trying to think. <laughs> You right? Yeah. Yeah, I keep trying to think like they it's like they wanna escape their own reality, right? Mm-hmm. And where are they going and how they choose like horror movies. Like I just don't I don't know. It's just like Yeah. Like if I wanna have a, a break on something and I'm sick of YouTube or I don't wanna watch T V or something, I watch trashy Netflix shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like I just, I was watching that. I think I was telling you that mar marry me or move on. Right? Uh, it's, no. it's funny. It's stupid. It's like reading a trashy mag, like a, <laughs> you know, but I, it, it doesn't make me want to go kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. It's, yeah, I just, that's, I, that's a word for it. Crazy. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, just trying to under, trying to put yourself in the headspace like, Hi, outshine. <clears throat> yeah, it's really crazy. Anyway, sorry, that's a side note. I always do side notes, but yeah, yeah that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, Hello, outshine, nice doggies. Yep, go. <laughs> <laughs> nice doggies. Yeah. So on, I guess September the fifteenth, he kept hearing these voices in his head and decided mm -hmm. he was going going to get a knife out of the kitchen and and go kill somebody and he went to yeah. yeah he went to the park and he saw an elderly couple which was peter king and his wife walking their dog and as he was walking by them he jumped at them and tried to kill him and tried to stab him and and they fought of course they fought him off yeah and, they did a good job yeah, he was just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. And he took off running. So yeah. that was a failed attempt right there. And he, bl <laughs> he blames that. He says his knife was too small. That's what he yes. blames on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said his knife yeah. was too small. So then he goes to the hardware guess, store. Yeah, the hardware store and, and gets a bigger knife and a hockey mask. This mm -hmm. is where the Friday the 13th comes in. And he, I guess he paints it or whatever, and then he hides in the bushes and he, he stalks his next victim, which was, what was her name? Um, Marie, Marie Harding. She was 76 mm, yep. years old. Walking to home from visit her retired school back. teacher. Yeah, walking yeah. home from visiting her daughter. And he jumped out from behind her and cut her throat and 
stabbed her somewhere else in the back maybe yeah he stabbed her in the back to to disable her and then cut her through yeah and, then and he, he was happy with himself yeah he said he he felt euphoria when he did it and and was bragging mm -hmm. about how good it felt and mm -hmm. so because um didn't didn't he after that he went home yep and he was writing notes to himself about yep. how good it was yeah that's where the nickname was ziggy came in because he would write as ziggy mm. ziggy or zippy 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 i think yeah 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 he wrote and his mom himself. yeah yeah and, and he, his mom could hear him mm -hmm. and asked who he was talking to yeah nobody <laughs> nobody's and fuck off right leave me alone <laughs> mm -hmm. And she, son did. Right there. and she did she just left him alone so but then so, good is he 24 at this stage yes 24 yes yep okay sorry yeah that's okay um and i think it was two days after that he actually traveled to another city and yeah at 5 30 in the morning I guess because he went to a bar and got really drunk and was doing some drugs. And he was standing outside leaning on a car and a, no, yeah, a, man, a, a man approached him. Um, this was Kevin Malloy. He was 40. Yeah, so the, yeah, so the pub was closing. He was mm -hmm. off his face. Uh, Daniel was off his face on booze and drugs. Yep. And, the, and the pub was closing and the, Kevin actually went up to him to see if he was okay. Like yeah, he could see that he wasn't well, right? Mm. And he stabbed Kevin in the face, neck, and his torso with a pair of large knives he stole from a department store. Mm. So, yeah, I including stabbed his face. Yeah, yeah, I said face, I neck, and torso. Oh, you did say face. Sorry, I was just Zoom like, <laughs> okay, I'm down under. There's a delay. I'm delayed, right? <laughs> Yeah, so that was, what was that, his second actual murder, but... Yes, he still uh, had more. Fourth victim, but it's second actual murder. Mm-hmm. And then he left him there to die. Yeah, poor guy. Was, yeah, that was at 5.30 in the morning. And then at mm -hmm. 7 a.m., he broke into this house started rummaging through the drawers and the the older couple was upstairs in bed and she heard it and woke her husband up who went downstairs to investigate to see what was going on investigate investigate <laughs> <laughs> got to put some cash in here you have to you have, you have to, to. <laughs> Max, i love it <laughs> maximum murder please <laughs> so absolutely <laughs> so good <laughs> So he goes, the husband goes downstairs, turns the lights on and says, who's there? And Daniel goes at him with the knife, but this man was like double this Daniel size. Yeah, and they were old. biting each other. Yeah, he might've been old, but he was double his size mm. and was fighting him. And his, the wife ran downstairs and he yelled, call for help. So I guess I'm assuming she went back upstairs to call the police and him and Daniel continued biting each other and yeah and the guy ferocious fight yeah the guy had gotten a hold of Daniel's knife at one point and actually cut Daniel's arm and mm. I, I think that's what startled Daniel and Daniel left after that Daniel let go and ran out after that one mm -hmm. and he actually went for medical treatment after that <laughs> gave a, oh. a gave a false name at the hospital told yeah. the doctor it was a piece of glass and they cleaned him up, mm -hmm. stitched him up, and sent him on his way. <laughs> yeah, and, they, and at this stage, they have a piece together that um, Mrs. Harding and Mr. Malloy, mm -hmm. you know, are killed by the same person. No, they have it because they're in two different, I think, two different towns or cities or two whatever counties, they are. Yeah. 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 So yeah. then he, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> went and got his medical treatment and went about his way. Mm -hmm. And then he went at 8 a.m. is when he knocked on the door of another elderly couple, Derek and Jean Robinson, who were, um, Derek was a retired pediatrician. Yeah. And 
Jean was a retired teacher, I want to say. Yep. Yeah. So knocked on the door while they were having breakfast and Mr. Robinson got up and opened the door and saw that he was had blood and stuff on him and asked, are you okay? And he said, no, I'm not. And when he said no, he lunged at him and stabbed him. Yet again, just another couple doing their normal stuff. And yeah, elderly. Their first instinct, right, is are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, it, he, it seems, makes... he seems to be targeting the elderly. So Yeah, they're easier to overcome. Mm -hmm. But then after he's, while he's stabbing Mr. Robinson, Mrs. Robinson came to try to help him, and then he stabbed her. Yeah. So, but so then, yeah. Yeah, after that, he decided he was going to go upstairs and take a shower <laughs> because he was covered in blood. He was all covered in blood. Yeah, he left them yeah. laying at the bottom of the stairs in front of the front door, bleeding, dead. And, and can we just backtrack a little bit? When yeah. he went home after the first one and started writing his notes to himself, mm -hmm. he said, I'm going to be a serial killer. Yeah, yeah, that was his wish to be Britain's yep. most prolific serial killer. Serial killer. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that was his his goal. So I mean, yep. the whole time, I mean, I understand he had some psychological issues as far as schizophrenia and all that, but he pretty well planned everything out. It's not like he didn't oh, yeah. know what he was doing. Oh, yeah, and by this time, I don't think he was still on his drugs and booze. Do you know what I mean? Right. He, he yeah. had the right mental capacity to make the decisions on the lives yeah. that he was about to take. Exactly. Yeah. So then he went upstairs to take a shower and I guess they had a um, decorator coming in that day mm -hmm. who had a key to the house and let, let himself in. And when he walked in, of course, he was met with these two dead bodies on the floor. And then he heard the shower from upstairs. So mm -hmm. he went upstairs to see who it was. And him and Daniel became face to face. And Daniel got spooked and ran out. And the guy called the police and gave them a description and everything of them. Um, I also Daniel. wanted to say that Daniel claimed that the experiences were orgasmic. Yes, he did. Yes. But euphoric and wow. orgasmic. And you know what that decorator reminds me of? Mm hmm. A friend of ours who does that sort of stuff over in the UK. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you maybe imagine? It, maybe it was him. <laughs> no, I doubt it. No, I doubt it. But you might like he's just rocking up to a job to do his normal job and you just walk mm -hmm. into two stabbed bodies and some yeah. guy. But mm -hmm. this was. Wasn't this the morning? This is leading up to the morning where the police picked him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I won't jump, but yeah. No, that's fine. It was it was that morning. It was because he'd left that house and he didn't have any clothes, according to the decorator. But mm -hmm. in the picture that I have of him being arrested in um, the uh, what was it? Tube Help station. Was it the, the tube station or the yeah, cop yeah. shop? The, the station. tube station. Yeah, underground it's called station. the tube, the underground. Yeah. It's their so train what is it like a, a train? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's their train station. They just call it the tube because it's underground and it's circular and yeah. it looks like a tube. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is the picture that I found online. Yeah. And he, Let's see. he appears to have clothes on. Yeah, he does. Yeah, so not, I can't remember if it was Piccadilly or where it was, but it's Metropolitan London. It was uh, <clears throat> Tottenham. 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 Yeah. Tottenham. Tottenham. That one. <laughs> I've been to Tottenham. I've been there yeah. when I lived over there. Yeah. Yeah. So he was taken to the police department and questioned and told them everything he did and talked about his the voices in his head and they told him to do it and. That's and, when and they were like, he started <coughs> telling them about all of the guys, all the people. So they were like floored that he was, you know, connected to these other murders too. Yeah. And didn't he have a bloody note on him when they found him? Yeah. He gave a bloody note to the, uh, 
the the person at the train station to try to get I don't know why a, a ticket maybe. Yeah, yeah. You gotta you gotta have a ticket to ride the trains. So, yeah. yeah, and that's why. Do you think they, he was? They called the cops. Yeah. And said that you know, hey, there's this bloody guy here. <laughs> he yeah. notes, so they can't. He's bloody. He's not a bloody legend, Casper. He's a bloody guy. <laughs> Do you think, at this point, he was trying to stop himself? Mm, no, because maybe? he was talking about how he loved it and it was so orgasmic and. Yeah, but that, you know, giving a bloody note to the ticket guy—that's that's a dead giveaway. Like, I, I don't think, know if it was. I'm thinking maybe it was a mistake. He didn't really mean to give him the note. It was just probably in his pocket. Mm. That's yeah. the way I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah, because I don't think that. Because he wouldn't have had any money. Yeah, true. Well, he didn't have money when he was at the bar drinking all that, that booze either. So. You get money somewhere. Yeah, get out. And he yeah, went to the, to the department store and bought the knife and the hockey mask. Hmm. Probably rubbed it off his mom. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but he he said he enjoyed their murders. Um, it was one of the best things he's done in his life. This is some of the things he wrote in the letters. Mm -hmm. And then he, he noted how similar he was to Freddy Krueger. Yeah. But his mom, I don't know if we mentioned it or not, she was, her name was Leslie Savage. Mm. So, yeah. He finally found his calling. He never had a job, but he thought his job was to kill people. Because yeah. Freddie was telling him. Yep. Yep. Freddie was telling him. So, and then he tried to plead in, in court. He tried to claim that, you know, not guilty by reason of insanity. And that plea was rejected. So they did not believe that he was insane although he was held at the broadmoor hospital in berkshire for two years yeah so at which time he tried over and over again to bite himself to death and the police had to be with him 24 hours with right gear on and the the doctor even said he's never seen anything like it he was trying to bite his arteries out of his arms so that he would die but before we get to the sentence, do you have anything else to add to it? Are you are you having a down under moment right now? I think Claire's having a down under moment, which means she's probably going to leave and come back. So, yeah, this guy was definitely sick. Oh, I hear something. Are you there? Maybe not. Went away again. <laughs> Your Wi-Fi sucks. <coughs> Let me show some pictures while we're waiting on Miss Claire. This is um, the four people that he killed. That's the elderly couple that he broke into their home. The one on the bottom right. <laughs> there she is. Hi. Hey, it's not a live stream if my internet doesn't drop out, right? Right, right. <laughs> and then on the bottom right is the lady, the retired um, school Mrs. teacher. Mrs. Harding? Yes. Mm. And the guy on the left is uh, Kevin Mal Malloy. Mm. So, and they took... Poor people. Picture of the knife. That's a big knife. It is a big knife, yeah. Those poor Another people. One. That's a big one too. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> God, <laughs> I knew it. Somehow I knew <laughs> you were going to say that. <laughs> so shout well, out to Casper Sight. <laughs> I asked you before you decided to boom her out on me if you had anything to add before we went on to the sentence. No, no, I just tell out. Outshine 51. He killed four people and injured two. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, he went to Broadmoor <laughs> Psychiatric yes, Hospital. Was there. Yep. Spent his time there and was escorted around everywhere. 
with police with officers two nurses. right here. Yeah. Um, what I read was the nurses had to sit watch, but anytime he had to go anywhere at all, the police had to escort him in riot gear. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, because he was such unstable mentally that even when the police first brought him in from the tube station, he tried to punch one out just out of nothing. He wasn't even coughed. Like yeah. I thought this, he's just tried to knock a police officer out. Like, so yeah, then they realized how crazy and well, yeah, I'm using that word again, but yeah, how crazy he really was. Yeah. I mean, I believe that, I mean, I'm not excusing the murders at all, trust me, but I do believe that he was, he had a lot of issues with his schizophrenia and he should be held accountable for what he did, but he should get help. Yes. You know what I mean? But, and had he got the help prior to any of this yeah it might not have happened yeah yeah it might not have happened so yeah so yeah he was given six life sentences without a possibility of parole yeah and then on august the 9th 2007 which was three years after all of this he committed suicide by cutting his wrist with the edges of a broken cd case in his cell now, so. he had tried it, didn't he? Had, he tried it earlier as well. Like He, he tried, tried it. Yeah, to bleed out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. He tried biting himself to bite the arteries. That's what we, I was just saying earlier, that the doctor even said he's never seen anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's so. Just blows my brain, mm -hmm. my mind. And the people of Britain dubbed him the Freddy Krueger killer because he in, was inspired by the movies. So, yes. What's the lesson here, Chrissy? As we said last week, don't watch horror films. <laughs> <laughs> or make sure you get help. Yes, <clears throat> lots of help. Yes, I mean, His poor mom. I wonder how she coped after all of this. Yeah, that's what I was telling you before we went live, that I didn't see anything that, you know, what she commented or anything she said besides in the very beginning where she had tried to get him help. Mm. But nothing after that. And they didn't talk about her being in the court or nothing. Yeah, and I, 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 I did a quick search. There's not much of him in the court or anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. No, nope. but I suppose it was back in the day when things weren't live, like they are with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like everything's out there these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, there wasn't much on him besides that. So, I mean, I, Wikipedia, Killerpedia, and then the, um, website that I put in the description, which mm -hmm. is a newspaper from uh, yeah. you, from London or somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. The Daily Star. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was something like that. Yeah. So that's our excitement for this week. Mr. Daniel Gonzalez. Yeah. Oh gosh, I don't see any questions in the chat or anything. So I don't have anything else to comment on it besides what we already said, basically. So. Yeah, I know it's um, it's still a sad set of circumstances. Absolutely. I mean, I Outshine guess. Outshine said, "Yep, go." Okay. What what trial outshine? What trial? Uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, because I, I oh. probably threw that in there. No, I'm not watching it. <laughs> Didn't I, I, I did see something where they said she lied. I don't know. Did she lie? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So. Totally. I've watched some of the trial. Yeah, no. I, I, I mean, they had just quickly, like they had his mom, no, his sister there mm -hmm. saying stuff that Amber would say to him, um, the handyman, like, I don't know, you don't like the, you know, the person who cried wolf, 
I just yeah. I think. Good night, Cynthia. I think it was. Good night, Cynthia. I think it was a very toxic relationship anyway. Yeah. Um, but but I think someone's sort of milking a cow mm -hmm. and it's not Johnny. <laughs> yeah, she saw dollar signs. Thought she could yeah. get away. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm not even paying attention to it. I just ran across something. I think it was on Yahoo. Mm. So. You know, I was just saying, like, in comparison to trials these days and, and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, like, you know, even the Valo thing, which I mentioned last week, and yay, she's been restored. Let's all oh, yeah. have a happy dance. I think it's April 19th, she heard, is yes. it her uh, pre-trial? Yes, yep. Yeah. 19th of April, yep. yep. It's just funny that I was talking about her last week, you know, mm -hmm. and, and finally, finally, she is restored. It's okay, a family Cynthia. emergency. Oh, I hope everything's okay. Yeah. Now the the Daybell case, I will be following. I've been following that one from the beginning, so I definitely will be doing that one. Yeah. And I'll be Just right gonna, there with you. I'll have to try to find ways around covering the trial because apparently I'm not like law law and crime network or. Rice, Scott Rice, or whatever. I'm not allowed to just play the trial. I have to do something else with it. So I don't know. We'll figure something out. Yeah. Um, and the thing on, on the side about that is the people that are covering the debt trial, I've seen panels of like four or five people and they just sit there and comment. So that, that might be a way around that. Like, like watch it, yeah. pause it, comment on it. Maybe. I don't know, but Maybe. it's kind of hard to pause a live trial, you know. Mm. Or mute <laughs> it and talk over it. Yeah. I don't I know. Always, all you can do is talk over it or, you know, mm. stuff like that. But I don't know. I'll figure something out because I'm definitely going to do that one. Yeah. That's a very sad case. Yep. I think. Can you hear me typing? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. I think they're going to do uh, plea bargains. I don't think it's going to go to an actual jury trial. I think they're going to accept plea bargains. That's just my um, opinion. And they're still being tried together, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. They can't be yeah, this late. Like, they he tried, said, she they, said. Yeah, they tried to job. separate them, but um, they denied it. They kept it together. Yeah. Yeah. So, so sad. I think that's what's going to happen with that one. I think they're going to offer them some plea deals. and mm. Yeah. That's just my opinion. So I don't know what's going to really happen. Transpire, yeah. I mean, it's been going on for so long now, you know. I know. It's crazy. And did you see her photo? Yeah. She's aged. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. well, she's been sitting in the mental hospital in luxury, probably. <laughs> now she gets to go back to the jail where she belongs. Yep. But anyway. I'm trying to think about, yeah. Anyways. Well, Daniel, we've covered you. We yes. made it to England this week, so we're spreading <laughs> out. Lord knows where we'll go next week, but we'll see. Indeed, yeah. We do need to figure it out before Friday. We do. We <laughs> I don't do. want to cram yes. on the day of. <laughs> I know. I agree. I agree. Just been one hectic week this week because aside oh, from know, Christmas, yeah. work running up to Easter is so busy and it's also school holidays now. Mm -hmm. So you, you get yeah. some out of towners and then you just get mm -hmm. crazy kids. So yeah. yeah. All right, girl, well we're gonna end this because we're done. We're done. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> we're done. We did talking. it. Yeah. Right. Forty minutes, that's good. Yeah. I think Doing it was only thirty minutes. 33 minutes on our first one so yeah we're doing all right yeah put in a couple extras 
with Depp and Daybell, but you know, yeah, Night Out Shine, thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah, so. fly out, Shine. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. So we'll end right, it well, here. Thank you. Uh, thank you, as always, for yeah. being here. Always. We'll talk behind the scenes and figure out what we're going to do next week. Mm -hmm. All right. We will. All right. All right. Take care. Bye. Night, everybody. Bye.